My Miami with Bernardo Forbrescia. In this episode, we visit the American Airlines Arena, which was designed by his firm, Architectonica. This used to be the old Port of Miami. So when we designed the building, we made uh, a reference to the nautical shapes of the port with these curving shapes that are almost like our prows or sails that are actually rotating about the elliptical shape of the building. And, um, and you follow around, it has a movement, and we wanted to give a, the building uh, a dynamism that it wouldn't be a static building. The other objective was to have the building open, open up to the city and open up to the bay. So you will see that there's glass areas, like the one behind here, in this case opening to Biscayne Boulevard, and the other case opening to a big terrace overlooking Biscayne Bay. We wanted to engage the city and the bay. Since this is an arena in a tropical city, we thought it would be nice that there would be contact with the outdoors. So if you walk to the sides of the building or, and if you look at the upper levels, you're gonna see that not only each suite has its own private terrace out looking at the bay and the city, but also the main concourses where the uh, food concessions and food courts are, they all have outdoor terraces where people can spill out during half times and, and, uh, and enjoy the weather and the view. And your favorite design details? Actually, it is on the other side, overlooking the bay. Um, if you look at that side, not only does the building open up completely to the bay, but it opens up to a huge terrace that is um, sort of pre-functioned terrace. And off to one side, there's this very large wedge that you see with a huge window to the bay. And that is actually the practice court. Uh, for the for the Miami Heat players, and they they have a, they, it probably is the most uh, uh, luxurious experience for any practice because it has a view uh, and a view out to the port and the bay. One of the other aspects, if you come here at night, because many events are really at night, is that through these glass walls, you actually see all the escalators that cascade up and down the levels, and you actually see the people almost like an ant farm, you know, like a big picture frame of uh, a painting of the activity. Tell us about the form and explain the function of these black racing stripe like elements. During game day they have the announcements of what's happening inside and uh, they're almost like speed lines that are applied onto the building but they actually do contain a message. What lessons might other architects involved in arena design take away from this building? I think the most important uh, lesson is uh, one of connection to the city and the surroundings. The, the building opens up to the streets and to the, and to the surrounding spaces and it's not a totally indoors looking uh, entertainment space and I think that is the real difference between this arena and many others that are inward looking because obviously that is where the event is happening and that is the expected uh, solution in a building like this. Some have called this one of the country's most beautiful arenas. What's your own assessment? One always has to see the, uh, the advantages of our context. This is a beautiful city. The arena is placed smack in the middle of downtown, next to the bay, next to the port. It is, um, it is an unusual setting, and I think that sets it apart aside from the architecture. While the site definitely confers some advantages, it also posed a challenge, yes? Well, most uh, of these buildings are actually partially sunken into the ground. But this one is in reverse. We had to actually elevate it, as you see here, because we have hurricanes and we have flooding. So the whole building actually creates and evolves out of an artificial ground that we had to conceal in a way because we wanted it to connect to the ground plane of the sidewalk. 